Hello, this is Dr. Micah Jazz with Be Still and Know. As I've declared many times, we love our oratory garden. One of its wonders is that it is never still. Plants are flowering, trees blossoming before fruiting, and the vista is subject to constant change. What's more, plants spread and we need to move them around both to create space for their development as well as to ensure they eventually get located in the ideal spot for their development. Gardens are organic, alive and constantly evolving. As disciples, we're much the same. I know, as a newly converted Christian, I thought the job was done. I'd stepped from darkness into light and now I'd get on with my life. Only now I'd view everything through a Christian lens. How naive I was. I so quickly forgot that in turning to Christ, I had in fact turned my whole life over to Jesus. My ambitions were no longer necessarily God's ambitions. My wants, my needs, they weren't God's priority. It took me quite some time to realise my conversion was just the start of a journey that was to change the way I looked at myself, the world around me, as well as God. My Christian faith is itself organic, alive and constantly evolving. I confess that sometimes I've completely stagnated. I've become distracted and stopped the good work within me from growing. Like a plant longing for sunshine can find itself cast into the shade of an expanding shrub and so struggles to survive. And so I allowed the shade of life events at times to cut me off from the rays of God's love and encouragement. A lot of the work I do today is with those within the retirement zone. I have any number of conversations with people who describe themselves as at a loose end. Their life is no longer defined by the routine of employment. They struggle to make their way through each day with any real sense of purpose. Yet life in one sense is no different. The requirement to work for someone may have disappeared, yet the responsibility to work out God's purpose remains as real as it has always been. Perhaps the problem is that the distraction of work and other responsibilities placed God's purpose in the shade. Now it's time once again to replant that purpose within the full sunlight of God's love. None of us is without a destiny and each of us requires the work of God's Spirit to equip us to discover and realise that destiny. That work isn't finished until the end of our mortal life. So just as in a garden there's plenty of organisation required to ensure it flourishes, so with our walk of discipleship there's much to be done so that we live out of God's purpose and nobody else's. As we enter into the God space today, in Christ you are the purpose God has birthed within you. You may need to prayerfully go in search of that purpose or sit down and talk with a spiritual coach to finally nail it. But one thing is certain, your purpose like your shadow, stays with you for life. Amen. I work as a spiritual coach and it's wonderful as people rediscover their eternal purpose and begin to live from the very core of their identity. Now please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope and join our voice of hope family. Also join me this Sunday for Premier Life where we celebrate God's love with worship, prayer and one of your own wonderful testimonies. And also for Be Still and Know throughout the week. However, for now from me, Micah Jazz, it's goodbye and God bless.